All right, we're here at Bonefish's house. It's a little cold out, it's winter. And uh, we got some of these mud buster mud flaps. I've never saw these before, so we're gonna go through together today. So far, it looks like we got these mud flaps. This is what comes in the box. We got a couple mud flaps. It's like front and rear. Two more there. And we have over here, we have our set of directions. It's a couple pages. Some pictures, that's good. We always like pictures. We got lots of these. And we got four nuts and washers. And these are probably, we're hoping this is all the tools we're gonna need um, to do this project. So let's see how it goes. So first thing right off the bat, these are pretty rugged, but they're pretty rigid. And it's tough to line them up on the fender wars. So we're gonna take the heat gun and we're gonna heat this up and we're gonna try and bend it. Well, they're already kind of pre-bent in some spots. So we're gonna start with that. We're using the heat gun to make this a little bit easier to bend so we're not, it's not sprung while we're trying to work on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. See, holds a little bit nicer bend now. And we're gonna just proceed through the next three. All right, so first thing we ran into is, well, the heat gun helped quite a bit molding this. We used some clamps, but it looks like this Nerf bar that's on here is gonna interfere with the mud flap. It doesn't go back, so. So we're gonna kind of line this up as best we can. We may take a pencil and cut out some of this flap here so that it makes room for that Nerf bar to go through there. This groove we had to cut out to make clearance for the front end of our Nerf bar there. So what we did, you know, so we didn't have to do the whole process again, was we just traced it. Oh, that's a little better here. Lined it up, because the other side should be exactly the same. We traced this whole profile, so on the other side it'll speed things up a little bit. Just trace that from that one. And then it'll probably take you a minute or two lining up all these holes and put those push pins up in there. Keep your, uh, Bring your patience with you. Yep. How do you feel about the installation of this first mud, mud flap fender flare? Uh, was not as easy as it could have been at first. Uh, it does take two people or somebody. We clamped it up here first, clamped it down here. You work your way up doing all your rib nuts, uh, not rib nuts, push pins. Uh, what I found is the fender flares were super tight, so we took the 5 16 drill bit that it said to when we had to drill up a hole, which we ended up not doing. Uh, for screws and stuff. Uh, it's so tight that if you just zip them through just a little bit, you were able to push it because what was happening, you had to take this piece here out in order to push this piece in, and then you had to fight to push this piece. It was a horrible. And it took me 15 minutes to get five of them in, three of them in, and then once I started drilling them out, you just like push, 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 just like they're supposed to be. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend drilling. Pre-drill all your holes, make sure they're all the 5 16ths that these are supposed to be. And other than that, it worked out pretty good. It's nice, up. it looks nice. Super rugged, you can see, I mean, it's not moving at all. Yeah. Oh, let's look over here and see how that uh, cut out for the fender flare went. So, I'm gonna see the light around here a little bit. Kind of right there, just some clearance all the way around that. And over there too. Went around that pretty nice, actually. So, any other tips or tricks you'd like to share? Uh, not yet. We'll see how the other three go. We'll see. Uh, check out the back one, but I don't foresee any problem after you pre-drill them out. I think it's going to be cool. Right. Oh, and uh, don't forget, you can spin your tires when you're doing this. Yes, we get absolutely spin your tires. Get some more room up in here. Uh, I was told I might want to do that, and then I didn't, and then I might wanted to have done that. So, yeah. This is what you meant by pre-drill all the factory holes. All right, so the holes are just a hair too small, whether the punch they used might have been worn out, but they weren't a full 5 16 which they say they should be. So we'll get yourself a 5 16 drill bit and just ream the holes out a little bit and everything will go in just right. You can tell I'm not hardly taking any plastic off. So don't wall them out too much or you just won't have the stability that you're looking for, but just enough to, for the push pins to push in, and we're golden. All right, under the back one. Back fender, easier, worse, what? Back fender was way easier. Uh, the key again, drill the holes first, 
and every one of them just pushed right in. We had a little trouble with the back. We had to just heat it up some right in this area, kind of fend it down so that these two ones here, we kind of ripped through them the first time because it was just too much pressure right here. So once we get done bending that, everything went perfect. That one took us a third of the time the front one did. It's all, all a learning process for us, so if you don't get it right the first time, you got to figure out what went wrong and try again. Hey. So here's a little with the mud flaps and without the mud flaps. Oh, pretty nice. Bonefish with his new mud flaps on. Any uh, thoughts or comments about the installation of this product? Definitely easier with two people. So I did the front and the back on this side by myself. The back's real easy. You just really have to bend it around here. Make sure you get the tabs on the right side up top of here. Uh, but overall, now that we experimented a little bit on the other side, it went a whole lot easier. Pre-bending it definitely helped again. Drilling them helped. But other than that, it wasn't all that bad. One person, it took me probably 35 minutes to do both sides together. Which isn't so, too bad considering our first one took no. about two hours to yeah. figure it out. Right, so yeah, so uh, you could probably do it both sides in an hour, knowing now what you know since you watched us do the size of it. So mm -hmm. yeah, it all worked pretty well. I'm really excited to try to get it. They're really sturdy. So get it on the trail and see how, see how much coverage it gives me. All right, excellent. Thanks, Bonefish. Yeah, thank you.